Our next guests are from another organization built on the foundation of one-to-one -one friendships and mentoring. Best Buddies is the world's largest organization dedicated to ending the social, physical, and economic isolation of millions of people with intellectual disabilities. And I'm so pleased to welcome George Marilla and his best buddy of 20 years, Anthony Shriver. Anthony's the founder of Best Buddies International. Nice to have nice. you both Thank here. Thank you so, for having me. Anthony, I'll have you start. Walk me through what's really at the, the core of Best Buddies. The core is really developing a sense of acceptance, inclusion, integration, inclusion, integration, inclusion, integration. I mean, I think over and over, we as a society tend to isolate and segregate in all factions of life. And I think Best Buddies is all about reaching out to people like George, who are gifts from God and have so much to offer and so much talent and ability to share with each and every one of us to make them feel completely included and to make them feel like they count, that they matter. And I think when we do that, our lives personally are enriched beyond our wildest dreams. And it's really a gift from God for this population to be alive and to exist and to share their talents and their sensitivity and their compassion and their hearts uh, with people like you and me. If we're smart enough to take the time to listen and to pause and be calm and relax to let them into our lives. So, George, you've made your way all the way from Miami, Florida, and you've been in Best Buddies for 20 years. Tell me, yes, actually, it it's 21 I'm years. I'm off, 21 <laughs> years. So that's quite a while. Tell me what you like about Best Buddies. Well, Best Buddies has helped me, helped me find new friends, mm -hmm. has enriched my life. It's been the best thing that happened to me since I finished school. Four years before I finished, after I finished school, I joined Best Buddies, and I've, and I've, made friends, got got a job at the Hyatt, which I've held for twenty years. Wow. And I've and I and I'm proud to say that my proudest accomplishment of being a best buddies participant, particularly in jobs, is being a former five time Miami Dolphin season ticket holder. Mm. And I'm looking forward to maybe buying season tickets to the Dolphins again in 2019. Mm, okay, I like that. I like that. Anthony. But it's I, great how he says, though, because now he has his economic ability right. and his talent. Those are not cheap tickets, yeah. so clearly you and have the economic ability. He's been a season, season ticket holder in the past when he saved enough money to do it. Mm -hmm. Goes to every single game, rides public transportation to get to the game. I mean, it's been more challenging now, but he has been able to do that. So it's really living a life that's full and rich and something that he loves doing and has enormous passion for, which is what we all want, right? And, and really a ringing endorsement of the program. Is the key sort of matching the right mentor to the right mentee? It's the key with everything. <laughs> it's, you know, it's, it's, it's matching the right people. I think that's the story of all of our lives, finding the right person that, you know, is special and enriches your life in a way that it's indescribable, I think. And um, so I think that's one big component of Best Buddies. But the other big component is our employment program where we create economic independence. You know, 85% of people like George are unemployed in this country. So not only can the friendship develop opportunities for employment, but then once the job is secured, it develops enormous independence for the person with intellectual disabilities. And I think, as you know, and as I certainly know, you know, I can't get anywhere in life without my friends. And I can't get a job. I can't network. I can't get on the show. I can't get someone to give me money if I don't have a network right. of friends. So if that whole equation, I think, is eliminated out of someone's life, it really creates a life uh, that's, that's dark and you know, not enriched. And that's the life that we don't want to have for anybody. So George, you mentioned you work at the Miami Hyatt. Yes. Tell me a little bit about your job. Well, I started out as a regular houseman, and then I worked my way to being a pool attendant, a special projects houseman, then I got transferred to laundry, where I work in the laundry department, folding out sheets, towels, and pillowcases. And generally, I have excelled at the Hyatt, even though I've never really, never really um, got gotten all star recognition. They they still. They say I'm a hard worker. They look forward to seeing me employed with seeing me employed more. They look for wish I could have more days so they could see me more. They think I'm the best employee there is. That's I receive a lot of feedback from my coworkers and my fellow and fellow and employees. So it seems to me that you're able to bridge this gap between the school that George talked about and really getting a job that'll help with isolation and also economics. 
we try. It's, it's a huge challenge. It's a big, big challenge that our country faces. And it's certainly when you get outside the United States, the challenge is even bigger. But the transition from school to work is a huge issue because people with special needs sort of fall out of the system when they get to be 22. And many of them are left at home staring at the wall, watching television with little or no economic opportunities and no social inclusion opportunities. So Best Buddies, I think, comes in and plays a really a key role in that um, as we try to transition out. Because as I go back to the other example with like you and me, job, but then the friendship network and the socialization is our whole life. Mm. Right. Um, and I think for them, very often that life doesn't exist. So I think to be able to continue to do that, but there's so much to do because, you know, we affect 100,000, over 100,000 people just in our friendship program, but there's millions of people with intellectual lots disabilities out there. Do. A lot, a lot of work. Anthony, thank you yeah, so thank much you for, your for time. this project. Really, it's amazing. Best buddies all across the globe. And George, thank you for coming all this way from Miami. Really appreciate your time. I'm glad that you're here. Yeah especially during this time of year. Yeah, it's, it's, it's very beautiful here in New York City this time of year. I know we can't always compete with Miami, but this time no, of year, good. we're You're pretty good. Now. You're beating us now for sure. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> let's, see. let's see how it happens, see what happens during the rest of the year. And I don't yeah, mean- Yeah, winter, I don't mean I don't mean the seasons, I mean, you know, Football. Oh, football. Uh, oh, that, we're we're going to go to com at some point a commercial break, and you and I can talk about football <laughs> at some point. Students and teachers and mentors behind Best Buddies are all part of amazing champions that we continue to salute today. And it's my pleasure to announce that so far, the combined total of American graduate champions has grown to 1,940,344. That's incredible.